Hey, this is Sarah with RegisterNurseRN.com and today I want to talk to you about the different IV gauges you'll be encountering in the hospital setting as a nurse. Right here I have the different type of IV gauges that you'll normally see as a nurse. There is the 22, which is the blue one, the 20 gauge, which is the pink one, and the 18 gauge, which is the green one. As a nurse, you will be using these so much that you will memorize these different colors. But when you first start out, you'll be a little confused. And typically, there's a little rhyme you can memorize, or you can think of your own thing. Um, how you can memorize it is this rhyme with blue, 22, green is 18, and then pink is in the middle. Also, you may see um, a yellow color, which is a pediatric needle. Sometimes, as a nurse, we like to use that on patients who have limited IV, IV access or have very small veins and we just need to give an IV drug. Or you can see a gray, which is the 16 gauge, and that's typically used in surgery or in the ICU, and it's a very large cannula. So if you see those, those are what those are, but typically you're going to be using these colors. So what is the difference exactly? They look the same from here, but there is a little bit of a difference. And I'm going to show you. Right here, we have the smallest and the largest in this group. And you, well, you can tell by when I slide these off the needle, this is the cannula. Because when you inject, the, it'll slide off just like that. And you use this little wing area to help you do that. And see, whenever I slide the 22 off, Pay attention to that cannula and the 18 gauge, pay attention to that cannula. See how this is a lot thicker than this 22. This allows you, the 18, because it's larger, to give blood. Your red blood cells won't break up. Allows drugs to be pushed fast, boluses. You can do a lot of things with this. The, eight, the 22 gauge, it's good for if you're having an outpatient come in for testing or you just need to give some drugs or just saline or anything like that. So before you ever start an IV on a patient, you always need to ask yourself, what type of IV size will my patient need? Patients hate to be stuck with IVs. It's the number one thing they do not like. So always make sure that you pick the right correct gauge for your patient so they won't have to be stuck multiple times because there's never like you start a 22 on your patient and CT calls and says that the doctor ordered a CTP protocol and they need an 18 gauge. And then you have to go in and tell the patient that you have to poke them again. They will not like that. So always evaluate that. So say that you have a patient that came to you, they've been admitted from the doctor's office and they're coming in with a GI bleed. You should automatically say that patient's getting an 18 gauge because most likely you're gonna to have to transfuse blood. And check your hospital protocol because these 18 gauges are sometimes really hard to get into some patients because they have very small veins. Some hospitals allow you to use 20 gauges to give blood. So it really depends on your hospital protocol. So always check that. So I'm going to show you a little bit about these IVs, how they're set up, and um, show you what they do. I'm going to use the 18 gauge. Right here you will see this little button. This is your safety. Whenever you get your IV in the patient, you're, you will hit this button and it will retract the needle into this area right here. So let's pretend we're starting an IV on a patient. We do our prep, we get, it, we get them ready, we find our vein, and we're ready to stick. Once you stick the patient and you hit the vein, in this little chamber right here, you will get a flash of blood. That will let you know that you've hit the vein. After that, I always like to advance a little bit more and just to get that needle really good in that vein because sometimes you hit it and you advance and it won't advance at all. And that's because generally you're not in the vein all the way. So just insert a little bit more. So once you do that, you will take your finger and there's this little area right here and you will just guide it into the vein. It just literally slides in the vein. And after you get it split in, you will hit your white button and it will retract the needle all the way in here. Very, very awesome design because this has decreased needle sticks among nurses and doctors because we're starting IVs on patients who have diseases such as hepatitis and HIV. And one time I had a professor who was teaching me how to start IVs 
and she was sharing a story with us about a friend who was a nurse who worked in a jail setting and there was a big fight in the jail and some prisoners were hurt so she had received a patient to her bay area that she had to treat and she started an IV on him and um, after she started the IV IVs a long time ago they didn't have the safety so she started the IV she set the IV beside of her with the needle still engaged and he had grabbed the IV and he had just stabbed her several times all over her body she didn't die from that but the patient had HIV and hepatitis she did contract HIV and she died um, I think three or five years later and she had kids and everything it was a very very tragic story so always use your safety and if you're ever in a situation with the patient because we take care of patients who do have violent histories who are there from jail settings always protect yourself with that and always use your safety so that was a little bit about IV gauges. If you ever have any questions about IV gauges or anything like that, come to my website, registerednursern.com. There's a forum there where you can connect with other nurses. And I'm going to be making a video on how to start IV, so please check that out. And if you like this video, share it with your friends. And thank you so much for watching.